Week four, day four. How are you doing on your journal? Are you writing it? Are you putting down all the food that you're eating? Are you drinking enough water? If you're not, today's the day I want you to recommit. I don't care what the excuses are, I don't want to hear it. I just want you to look at this page and say, you know what, today I'm going to write down everything. When I got up, here's what I ate. Here's the time I had breakfast, my snack, my lunch, my snack, my dinner, my snack. How many waters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all of them. Do that today for me, for you, okay? Now, taboos. What does the word taboo mean for you? Well, basically, there are, three, there are things that we're not allowed to do, right? But secretly, we wish that we could. <laughs> I want you to write three things that are taboo for you, that you wish you could do. For example, skinny dipping, maybe buying $300 shoes, visiting your hometown and not telling anybody, anybody you're there. I don't know, what is taboo for you? I can think of a whole bunch of them. I'm not sure I should share them with you, though. Hmm. All right, well, I'm already kind of an out-of-the-box thinker, so I'm just going to share something. Here's one of the things that I'd love to do that is taboo. I don't like to spend a whole lot of money frivolously. I'd rather either give it away, spend it on my children. But one day, I would love to take an obscene amount of money and walk into a makeup store and go nuts. Isn't that kind of crazy? Now, I have a makeup thing at home. I keep makeup and I keep clothes from high school. I'm crazy that way. But I'd like to clean out all my makeup and start new. Now, I had to do that one day because I went to Vegas for an award show and somebody stole my luggage. It cost thousands of dollars. Luckily, the insurance company reimbursed me for some of that. But it was a painful process. I only bought what I needed. I'd like to go with a sense of abandonment. Just think, Julia Roberts, pretty woman. You walk into that store, the dress is obscenely expensive, and you just buy it. That's taboo for me. The rest, uh, as close as we're getting now, I'm just going to keep to myself. I'm, no, sure, I'm not going to your house and looking at yours, OK? So just write them down, stick them in a drawer. And then I want you to imagine yourself doing one of them. Something that was totally taboo, the most crazy thing you could imagine that you'd like to do. I mean, think of in a kind of an erotic novel. What would you write that you would never ever say out loud? Do this. See, this is very personal. This is very secret kind of dreaming. No one's ever challenged you to do this before, I bet. Hmm. OK. I know, you're smiling, aren't you? All right, I'm going to let that resonate for a second. I'm just going to go down to my little post-it. It says, chew. I don't know how chew and taboo got on the same page, but they kind of rhymed. Here's the thing about food that you might not think about. Do you chew? I had a friend of mine, major martial artist. I was studying martial arts, and we were kicking and fighting and doing all these things. And one thing he said to me one day, he said, you need to chew. I'm like, sneezing? No, 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 you need to chew. I said, I don't know what you mean. Chew. I said, OK, OK, what am I chewing? He says, most people don't chew their food. I see people in America, they just they eat, they swallow, they're gone. We chew food. I throw it like, like a cow. Because I don't know if you notice this, but digestion starts to happen in your mouth. So you can break down the food before it gets to your stomach, and you actually get more nutrition. You get a little healthier. And one of the secrets is uh, chew. Hmm. Enjoy today.